Hello everyone and welcome to another Model Kit Inbox Review. I am Rick Arter. Today I'll be taking a look at the Ravel Original Mini Cooper Model Kit. This is part of the California Wheels series. It's a 124 scale model released in 2013 and it is a skill level 2 so paint and glue are required for assembly and there are 128 parts in this kit. Other features of this kit include an opening hood with detailed 998cc engine, left hand or right hand driving position, positionable front wheels, water slide decals, and illustrated instructions. Quick look around the box on the front. They have a photo of the model kit built up as per instructions. Here's some information and a paint guide. Similar photos on the other side. And here you have more photos under hood, interior, and the rear of the car. So now let's open this up and we'll see what comes inside. Opening up the model, you can see everything's bagged up in individual bags to protect it during shipping and storage. Top, you have your black vinyl tires, one large bag with all your white molded parts, clear molded parts, and two bags with chrome plated parts. Here's your decal sheet, look more at that in a second. And here's your instructions. Typical of the new Ravel style here. Some photos and information about the model as well as some stuff before you want to build the kit in case you haven't done anything with the model before. Here's your paint guide with the letter system as well as the parts count of everything that's included. Make sure you're not missing anything. Full color black and white illustrations. Very nice. And on the back you have your final installation and all your decal placement. Starting off with the no name black vinyl tires. Tread and sidewall is excellent. Very small but they look good. Chrome plated parts, there's two parts trees. Everything looks excellent. It does look like they include two grills. Decal sheet. And your clear molded parts. Everything looks very nice. I'm going to leave these in the bag. Starting with the body, you can see there is some flash cleanup, a bit of mold lines that you're going to have to clean up, but overall, looks like a very nice casting. Alright, here's the first parts tree, which is the largest, and I'll just go in alphabetical order. All these have labels, A, B, C, D, E. Everything looks great on the car so far that I can see. Like I said, there is a little bit of flash and some mold lines you'll need to clean up, but overall everything looks pretty nicely casted. Next parts tree here. Has all your interior parts, as well as some of your engine here. Block halves, as well as I think the heads are molded into that. Interior pan looks very nice. I like when they do this separate, separate parts here for the side panels. Really get you, let you get in there and get some detailing, painting, and everything for the interior. See, there are some sink marks here, but I think those are probably going to be covered up by the uh, chassis pan, so you don't need to worry about those. Next parts tree here. It says more of your engine parts, as well as your parts for your posable steering. It's your exhaust. Looks like you have two options for exhaust. Oh, no, I think this is part of the intake here, the... Uh, ignition system and last two parts trees you have your seats exhaust system, pedals, steering wheel and the last parts tree here you have I believe that's to be your water neck for your engine, you have an intake hose and then a fascia piece so overall everything looks great that I can see. I hope you enjoyed the inbox review on the Ravel Original Mini Cooper Model Kit in 124 scale. 
There's not much more I can say that you guys didn't already see. The detail on the parts is excellent. Not much preparation is going to be needed. A little bit of mold lines, a little bit of flash here or there. But overall, it's in a Mini Cooper, the original version. So I definitely recommend it for the fact of the uniqueness of it and the detail on all the parts being that it's a true skill level 2. So there is no real snap tight assembly to this. It has a full engine interior, left to right hand drive, the posable wheels, and as you guys saw the parts, I mean the detail is excellent and everything should go together nicely being that this appears to be a brand new casting and everything. I know the decals had 2013 on them, so at least those are brand new. So if you guys have any information on as far as the earlier releases of this kit, if there were any, uh, feel free to leave those in the comments. Thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.